So after we got the vehicle wrapped, I purchased some new ZL1 side skirts because I wanted to change the side skirts. I felt like it looked plain Jane without the side skirts like the ZL1 ones. So we purchased those. I can't remember where we got them from. I'll have to look that up and kind of add that into the description where we purchased those side skirts from. Um, I think it was extreme online, but I can't remember. So I'll put a link down below of where we bought the side skirts. We also purchased the wicker build and the rear spoiler from them. So I, knew, I know they sell on Amazon because I'm pretty sure that's where I bought it from. So I'll put a link down below where we purchased that because a lot of people asked me where I got it from and they liked it a lot. I did love the wicker bill and the new spoiler that we put on. The factory one was super small, tiny, it looked cheesy, not my cup of tea by any means. Um, the side skirts fit great. I kind of screwed up a little bit on the adhesive, but that was my fault, not, not the company's fault by any means. But I love the way the side skirts look. We'll show you some video and some pictures, and we will show you what the new wicker bill and spoiler look like on it as well. All right, so this is the Extreme Online Store rear spoiler for the 6th Gen Camaros, 16 and up. It's basically like a satin black spoiler and then a gloss black like wicker bill that goes on to here. Now my car, sorry we're rewrapping this piece here, but my car comes stock with these holes because it had the smaller spoiler on it. So from what I'm reading from the instructions, I won't have to really drill any, nor will I have to plug any. But if you have the one that has the plug here and here, you will have to plug because it doesn't have that available. Or if you have no holes at all, you will have to drill. We're gonna wrap these oh, with the Lux it. film. And we've already wrapped the third brake light. It is right there. We'll show you pictures of that once it's installed. installed in there. All right, we got this, and then Beavis is gonna hit the LED if my light would focus. Here we go. Even being tinted, still really bright because it's LED. satin black wrap on it turned out really good we did end up doing like a carbon fiber on the back like a carbon fiber texture piece but this piece here is just it is not the greatest of quality it's powder coated and it's really pitted in a lot of areas um, especially just I'm really super 
super picky when it comes to this kind of stuff, so. Now, after we got done with that, I loved the way the car looked. The only thing that the car did not have, and I could not handle it, was the springs. Like, the car set up like a four by four, like it was hideous. And I took it over to Clint. He has a uh, shop called c &M Automotive in Canby, where I used to live. And he did the springs on there for me, did a great job. Here's what it looks like before being lowered. Getting ready to drop it off for the H&R Springs. There's a very large wheel well gap. Looks like a four by four, so hopefully it'll look better once it's lowered because I cannot stand how high it is right now. Lowered the car for me. It was so hideous with the, the four by four wheel well gap on that car. I will show you some before and after pictures and videos of how bad the wheel well gap is on those Camaros. Now, even after you lower them, I think I did the H&R Springs. I'll put the link down to that in the description below as well. That way you guys can kind of see what we did. Well, this is one day after lowering it. Um, I did measure the back compared to the front. The front appeared to have lowered an inch and a quarter, and the rear went down about an inch. And this is only one day, so it might change. But even after you lower a Camaro, even with the highest, like even going with the Eibach, with the H&Rs, any, any spring, it just doesn't lower it quite as much as a Mustang. Like Mustangs, you can put springs on them, it will hammer them. But same way with BMWs. But with the Camaros, for some weird reason, it just does not hammer them or lower them far enough. It's just, it's lowered, but it's just not sitting on the ground like I like. But that's okay, it looked really good. Now the biggest disadvantage was, is the wheels. Once we lowered it and we got everything lowered, the wheels, the stock wheels, especially being the LT1 wheels, they were hideous, they were narrow. I mean, 245s, I sold those to a guy. I can't remember his name, but we sold them for a good price. We, we put them on Facebook Marketplace and people were offering me next to nothing for them. And I'm like, yeah, screw that. I'll keep them for winter wheels or whatever. Now at this time, this is when COVID was going on. And I can tell you this much, wheels in COVID time were on one year to two year back order. Like I'm talking a minimum of nine months to a year to get a set of wheels. I had zero options for an LT121 Camaro. There were no wheels available by any company anywhere. I could not get HRE, I could not get Belgian, I could not get any wheels I wanted for that Camaro. Every wheel I found for that Camaro had to be built or they were out of stock. And I'm like, I'm just not willing to deal with this. Like, I want the wheels now. I want to put them on my car. I want to drive it. It's summertime. I'm not waiting until wintertime to get my wheels. That's dumb. 